All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event of the evening. Let's turn our attention to get a preview of the main event. Take a look at the big screens. My name's Adam Dehart. I'm from Asheville, North Carolina, and I fight out of Renegade Fighting Systems. My name is Amir Dadovich. I'm originally from Bosnia. I fight for American Top Team Grant. I fight for the people that can't, such as, you know, like people that would die for the opportunity to be able to step in the cage or the ring. started training when I was a kid, so I guess just followed with it throughout the teens. I guess it's in the blood, you either born with it or not. You know, I love to fight, I love to perform, I love to train, just everything that comes with it. I just enjoy it. I know he's a Muay Thai instructor, he's a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu blue belt or purple belt or something, and he's about to get demolished tonight. I'm um, fighting Adam DeHart. I don't really know much of him. Uh, I know he comes from a good wrestling school. I mean, his gym is notorious for having good wrestlers, so I'm expecting, expecting him wanting to go to the ground. I'm gonna try and punch his heart through his chest. I hope it's gonna go quickly in my favor. You know, I'm looking to get the knockout in the first round. Bring it again. I hope it's a good fight. Good luck to you, buddy. I'm coming after you. Bill's Fight Night, the main event is on! Making his way into the red corner, Adam DeHart! And now, making his way into the blue corner, Amir Danovich!
This fight sanctioned by the Georgia State Athletic and Entertainment Commission, promoted here at Wild Bills by David Oblis' Undisputed Productions. Now, for the last time tonight, I ask you, Wild Bills, are you ready to throw down? This is the main event of the evening. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, 23 years old, standing six feet, one inch tall. He weighed in at 171 pounds. He is a seven fight veteran, representing Renegade Fighting Systems from Charlotte, North Carolina, Adam Dehar. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, 29 years old, standing six feet, two inches tall. He weighed in at a trim and stout 171 pounds. Undefeated with one victory, representing ATT Gwinnett, calling home right here in Gwinnett, Georgia, Amir Jadalich. <laughs> Referee George Allen. It's round one presented by Gingling and Wild Bills. It's the main event. Wild Bills, it's the last fight of the night. It's gonna be a burner. Make some noise. up against the ropes. Moving under and over right now, jockeying for a position against the ropes. because he wants to keep the fight standing. Right, nice break by George Allen, the referee. And still made it in there. Adam's coming out in softball stance. Amir's, you know, orthodox. Amir needs to be circling to his left. Dropped him with a right hand, and now he's got a guillotine against the ropes, and that thing is tight. That is real tight. That is doing a good job of countering so far. He's about to tap though, or he's about to go to sleep. But that thing is tight. If he gets out of this, it's going to be good. Beat. Wow, he did get out of it. Wow, great job on Adam Dehart's part. Amir had that thing solid.
George is going to move them over. They're tangled up in the rope, so they're going to continue the same position with Adam in the half guard in the mirror on his back. Adam's looking like he's a little more busy here. He's looking for a Kimura. He's trying to straighten that arm out. He's got the Kimura locked up, and now Amir's defending by straightening it out and bringing it towards his head. You know, and Adam's trying to stay with it and switch it to a regular arm bar. Defending really well. He's got a great coach in Jacal, Ronan, former UFC and Pride event. He's a coach of Jiu Jitsu. If Amir turned to his stomach and hit down, shot that. Wow, good defense by Adam. Amir's looking for a triangle now. Adam transitions to half guard. Adam's throwing some pretty good elbow strikes to the body of Amir. Adam's going for a toehold. which is a weird position. Don't his stomach. And then he's got to turn towards his stomach. And then 
Adams trying to scoot out the back door and get his back. Adams doing a good job of defending. Now it's a 50-50 situation. Amir's trying to sweep Adams. Got an underhook position into the leg. Adams throwing punches to the body. Opinion, Amir's gonna have to either knock him out, stop him, or, or submit him. To go with Adam to steer off his control, top control, these first two rounds. Nice exchange, Amir won that exchange, but Adam keeps moving forward. to get stood up here in a second. There's no action here. Amir's trying to work high guard. Yep, they're getting stood up. Takes him down again with a double. Right in that side man, actually. I thought it was half guard.
down with some good elbows to the ribs. You know? Okay, it looks like the referee's breaking him up, putting him in the same position. Adams is side mount. He's in side mount with a mirror down. Amir is reversing, he's in our double, and the bell sounded. gentlemen pull out your raffle tickets for D Geller and Sons I'm gonna call out the last three numbers if you won head over to the Georgia Fighters booth and claim your prize 069 040 032 085 037 108 107 Zero seven six, zero two seven, and zero eight four. If you have a winning ticket, be sure to visit the Georgia Fighters booth and claim your prize with D. Geller and Sons. Scored the contest 29-28. D Hearts. Will Fisher scores it 29-28. Dadovich. And Judge Ken Coffey scores it 29-28 for your winner. Fighting out of the red corner, Adam D Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Wild Bill's David Oblis' Undisputed Productions, we thank you for joining us at Wild Bill's Fight Night 52. We'll see you in the Zebra Room and in the Ground Room for tonight's official after party, where you can hang out with tonight's fighters, trainers, managers, promoters. That's what it's all about. It's about giving back to the community and back to the uh, people that really need it. If you are not joining us at the after party, we do ask you to be safe on your way home and enjoy the holidays.